I've started a lot of businesses over the past few months in quarantine. Today's business might be the most important of them all. Today's business is being built to help my sister, Emma. For those of you who saw my video last week, you know that we did an auction to help raise money to get my erratic, psychotic, maniacal sister therapy. Thanks to the generous bids and donations, we raised enough money to get Emma several sessions of therapy. Unfortunately, after I took my cut of the money for organizing the auction and using my platform to spread the word, there was not enough left over for Emma to go to a single session therapy. I was devastated by this news after all my hard work and after selling Emma's license, social security number, eggs, hair, and a date, we were still not able to get her any help. But can you call yourself an entrepreneur if you don't rise to the challenges that every day bring? Which is why I have decided to become a therapist and provide Emma the therapy that she so desperately needs. This is so kind of you. I know. Welcome to your first therapy session. Thanks. I know you might be a little nervous because I've I've never done this before. You seem a little underqualified. I'm just confused on why you thought that you could be a therapist. You think so small. You I'm you just, oh you're so scared of stepping outside the box. I'm nervous, but I'm actually really excited to see what's wrong with you and fix it. Me too. Okay. My name is Dr. Hirsch. I want you to pretend that I'm not Elena so you can really get into this and be open with all your problems. I'll try. To get started, why are you here today? Because you threatened me if I didn't come. I don't really understand why I need therapy still, but your subscribers seem concerned in the comments about okay. my mental health. So that's not why you're here. The reason you're here is that you're very confused. Mm -hmm. Also, you're a very, very rude girl. I can tell you have an attitude right now. I was being serious. I think that you've talked enough so far. I am the professional. I should be doing most of the talking. I thought it was the other way around so I can talk out my problems and you Okay, so and if give you knew how to fix your problems, Problems, then you would have done it. But I don't know what my problems even are. Exactly. I personally think that a good way to start the session would be for me to list everything that is wrong with you. Number one, you're lazy. Number two, you have no respect for authority. Number three, you don't know what it takes to start a business. Yeah, that one's kind of right. Number four, you are arrogant and conceited because a lot of boys like you. What? talking about? Okay, let me add one to the list. Number five, that's you're a liar. So Number six, too skinny. Number seven, that's so body you are jealous of her sister and her success. Number eight, your sister told me everything I needed to know before we came to this session. You are my sister. Emma. Sorry, Dr. Hirsch. Number eight, you're entitled to things like therapy. And number nine, you are unnaturally possessive of your eggs. As your therapist, I want to tell you something. Hmm. I don't like you. Why? I don't like you don't even know the me. person that you are. As I read this list of everything that's wrong with you, I feel repulsed and revolted by you and everything like that's a, wrong with you. A bad thing for a therapist to say to their client. <sighs> I want you to think about the fact that I don't like you. I hate you. Think about how motivated you are to change yourself because people hate you the way that you are right now. They are disgusted by you. Oh. That's really harsh. What do you see in this? <laughs> Did you just scribble? I think I see my sister. I also see a knee. Her nickname is Lane Knee. You're obviously obsessed with your sister and jealous of her. That's the wrong answer. Your sister's not in this. That's not the whole point that there's no right answers. Just you <sighs> so you got that one wrong. Okay. I want to say good job on that for trying. I still don't like you. Tell me about some of your problems. My sister is a bit controlling. She thinks she owns me. She tells me I'm too skinny, I can't have a baby, and I'm never gonna get a boyfriend, things like that, and forces me to start a landscaping business with her. First off, thank you, okay, good job on sharing that stuff. Uh, you're wrong again for two Those reasons. Those are my feelings, how can they be wrong? They're wrong, they're not good feelings, you shouldn't have them. <laughs> Basically, okay. what I'm saying is it's stupid for you to feel that way. Interesting. I asked you what your problems are, and you immediately started projecting. Well, I And you're blaming it all on your sister. I think it's because she's and the root of all my problems. <laughs> that is very unhealthy. That is a very- It is unhealthy that she's the root of my problems. This Okay, can you please focus? <laughs> the second reason that I want to say that your answer is incorrect is that you don't have any problems. All right, I'd be here for Nothing me. is hard or bad. You have an awesome sister. The worst thing that's happened to you is that you get asked on too many dates and there's not <laughs> enough days in the week for you to go on all the dates that you get asked on. Who are you getting this information from? <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time doing therapy. Maybe I don't know the rules that well, but can you let a person grow and learn? 
I want to. Like I'm being I, vulnerable here. No, because you're getting all the wrong answers. How are you feeling? Not great in the moment. You just told me that you hate me. Again, you shouldn't feel that way. You should feel inspired that you have a sister who chases her dreams and builds every business. I just don't know what these businesses are, why she's making them. They're literally wasting her money and time. You think they waste her money and time? Yes. You yes. think that working hard and chasing your dreams is no. a waste of money and time? I think that's a good thing. I just think when you fail numerous times, maybe it's good to give up. What I'm realizing is A, you're lazy, and B, you probably have schizophrenia. What? Where did that come from? Because okay, I'm not paranoid or anything. What you're saying is literally insane. It's literally crazy. Has anything really bad happened to you that is making you crazy? I think my sister has created some trauma for me. You are obsessed with your sister. Why do you love her and want to be her so badly? I think I want to be my own person. I'm like basically her slave at this point. One thing I want to talk to you about is perspective. You have a bad outlook on life. Why are you not acting how you're supposed to? I just act like myself and my sister doesn't like that. You're complaining? I just thought that I was in a therapy session, place to express my feelings. Do you not feel feeling. safe right now? No, not at all. So far all you've told me is that everyone hates me and I'm getting all the answers wrong. Makes you feel Well, unsafe. have you, what if you got the answers right? Do you think that if you were a better person that your life would be better? I think I can definitely improve as a person. So basically you have no desire to improve as a person. I literally just said I had a desire to improve as a person. What are your worst traits? Um, uh, I think, uh, you're, putting me you're on thinking the really hard about this. So you yes. don't think you have any bad traits? No, I definitely have bad traits. So maybe traits. your worst trait could be arrogance. If you know your worst traits, why are you still doing them? You have to work on them. Not if you know them, and they then don't you just can go just away. stop doing them. But what are your worst traits? This therapy session is for you, and I don't <laughs> want to spend even one second I feel like you're talking about me. Okay, sorry. Back to me. Do you think that physical punishment would help you stop doing your bad habits? I think that's a terrible way to change. Yeah. But if you would change, then maybe it could be worth it. I know, but that's like negative reinforcement. I mean, it works. Why do you not have any respect for your sister, who's um, older than you I, and also smarter and more experienced in the world um, and in businesses? Anyway, uh, I do respect her. I think she doesn't respect me. Do you think that you've earned the respect of your sister? What have you done that I mean, would I've done nothing to deserve respect? To, like, lose her respect. But you have to earn it in the first place? I don't really agree with that either. So do I'm the professional, so if I say you have to earn respect, then that means you have to earn respect. Okay. Why do you think you're above the law? <laughs> I'm a law-abiding citizen. I've never broken. I think that your diagnosis will probably be multiple personality disorder. Where are you getting this stuff from? Do you think that you're worthy of love and respect even though you haven't built a business? I think that everyone's worthy of love and respect. You might be suffering from psychosis. We could spend months working together to fix your busted brain or we could take the sure, easy, proven way which would be opioids. Let me tell you something. If you take these you're gonna feel Are very good. Speak? Yeah, if they're a prescription. But you will feel very good, amazing, or we have an alternative which will okay. actually be lobotomy. <laughs> No. Have you heard of that before? Yes, I have. You're not doing that. So <laughs> this is a really good, it has worked many times. It will change someone's personality, just make them a little mellower, nicer. I don't think I want that. I have some cake pop sticks. No. We're going to put them in your nose, go up to the brain, and then you just scramble it up a little, the prefrontal cortex. Have you heard of that before? Yes, I, I, I know, know that what because that is. of my psychology. Um, that will help you stop being such a terrible person. Emma, get on the bed. We're going to do a live lobotomy. I'll be very honest. I do not have the high-end tools. All I have are cake pop sticks. I know. Kind of like a DIY. Lay back. No. <laughs> and then I need you to move your hands. No. Don't use a pen. Do you want to take opioids instead? I'll just do the drugs. Good. Our time is about up for your first session. I think this was actually very damaging to my health. Basically, you've gone backwards instead of forwards. That's okay because this was my first time doing therapy and so I don't know exactly how to be doing it. Is there anything you'd like to say to the fans who are watching your live therapy session? You know, maybe they're getting a good laugh. I would recommend not subscribing to Alina after this. Okay. Basically, you're still a spoiled brat. I guess so. Thank you everybody for watching Emma's first therapy session. Hopefully it'll get better from here on out. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see me help more people with their problems. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week.